Bitcoin was created by the people for the people. It is designed so that the unbanked person in Africa is able to get the exact same attention because of the Bitcoin that he has on his phone as I can get in America or as you know, somebody like a Canadian guy on Wall Street or in, uh, you know, in the stock market in London can get. So why is it that we look at these things so differently in our world, in our culture? I believe it is because we do not value the basic rights that we each should have as humans. You look at the amount of money that, for example, Jeff Bezos has, and he was recently famously quoted as saying, it's really hard to find good places to give money to. Well, his ex-wife has just given away like another $2 billion and she gives away a lot of the money that she got in the divorce. And it's because as one human being, she's not looking for the next mega yacht. By the way, Bezos's yacht at one point had to, they had to disassemble a bridge to get it through in Europe because it was so big. So you look at like what, what's more important here? You could have fed a small country for a year on what it took to dismantle the bridge so that Bezos's yacht could get through. Like he couldn't rent another yacht on the other side of the bridge and leave his yacht on that side of the bridge and go to wherever he was going in the Netherlands or whatever and then come back to his yacht afterwards. He couldn't take his helicopter off of his yacht and fly the helicopter. There were a lot of ways to solve that without taking the bridge out. But that's the kind of thing where you're talking about an echelon of belief about money where it has nothing to do with what we would consider our current reality. I have often thought that one of the things that Amazon should do is pay for all of the after-school programs in the United States and pay for all the preschool programs in the United States. Why do I think that? Because it's almost a rounding error to how much Amazon makes. And the goodwill that you would get when pretty much every person who has more than like, you know, an extra $50 a year is buying something from Amazon with it. So when you look at that and when you see that all Americans are pretty much using Amazon and then most people in the world as well and can get to the computer and can process a transaction like that, they're all using Amazon. There's so much money being made. Why not give back in kind of a global way? Well, when Amazon first came out, I remember thinking what an incredibly innovative and like unusual entrepreneur Bezos was. But, you know, 30 years later, we can look and see it's just like every other guy. He's just acquiring as much wealth as he can personally. There was a funny meme that I saw. I don't know, a few months ago that said when monkeys collect all the bananas for themselves, refuse to share with other monkeys and hoard all of the bananas, we do a science experiment on them. And when a guy does it, we put him on the cover of Time magazine and say, you know, what a captain of industry he is. And I thought about that and how wrong that is. And when we look at the monkeys, we can see how wrong it is. But when we look at the man, we can't. And when it comes to our greed as a culture and our greed as an historical like timeline and through line with the way that we have handled our money, we can see that great greed is always the thing that eventually leads to a great downfall. 